Nikado Pancake Donuts, it's a cause for celebration, not only is it Friday today, it's also National Donut Day, time to whip out the donut maker and crank up the heat, because it's donuts for breakfast this morning. These donuts are so incredibly simple, all in all, it takes about 5 minutes to get the batter put together, and around 20 minutes to cook all of them. 25 minutes from start to finish and you'll have a plate packed full of delicious, decadent morsels. These little guys taste fantastic, though I do recommend pairing them with something, a little sweet kick, maybe slightly savory. I chose to go with a maple bacon topping. And it was certainly just the flavor combination to push these from great to amazing. Ingredients 1. 3 ounces cream cheese 2. 3 large eggs, 3. 4 tablespoons almond flour, 4. 1 tablespoon coconut flour, 5. 1 teaspoon baking powder, 6. 1 teaspoon vanilla extract, 7. 4 tablespoons arid 3 tall, 8. 10 drops liquid stevia. Instructions 1. Stick all of the ingredients inside of a container and mix together using an immersion blender. 2. Make sure that you continue to mix everything for about 45-60 seconds, ensuring a smooth batter that's slightly thickened. 3. Heat donut maker up and spray with coconut oil to ensure non-stick properties. Pour batter into each well of the donut maker, filling about 90% of the way. 4. Let cook for 3 minutes on one side, then flip and cook for an additional 2 minutes. This is more time than my donut maker tells me to cook them, but I found that they're slightly undercooked if you listen to the donut maker. 5. Remove donuts from the donut maker and set aside to cool, repeat process with the rest of the batter. This makes a total of 22 mini Kato pancake donuts. Each donut comes out to be 32.32 calories, 2.68 grams fats, 0.53 grams net carbs, and 1.41 grams protein.